Welcome class 10 students. Uh, this is the session for mathematics. Uh, we will sit for all the boards like ICC, CBC and Madhyamik boards for West Bengal, Tripura, Assam and all boards. Today we will go to uh, algebra quadratic equation. You know x square plus bx plus c equals to zero this is you know this is the general form of quadratic equation where a not equals to zero and obviously a b c are real numbers see why this a not equals to zero because you see here if a equals to zero then the equation becomes bx plus c equals to 0 which is, is surely not a quadratic equation but a linear equation. As you know the uh, maximum power of the variables is 2 that is called quadratic equation and in case a, not a equals to 0 then the equation becomes linear equation. So now today we will go to the syllabus uh, is nature of roots, formation of quadratic equation, solve and few problems on roots and lastly some word problems which uh, comes in various board exams. First we can go to the uh, nature of roots. Here you can see in the board nature of the roots. Actually nature of the roots means as we have told that this equation have two roots. One is x equals to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and another is minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a whole by 2a these two roots the nature of the roots is here b c and a this shows a discriminant this discriminant as is, as is denoted by d and which is equals to b square minus 4ac when this discrimination is equals to 0 that is b square minus 4ac equals to 0 then the equation it has equal roots and rational roots real roots sorry we can give one example of equation here the equation is written over here you can see 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals to 0 this is one of the examples there are many many examples where uh, the uh, roots are equal then the equation is in that form you can check on your own that this equation and this type of other equations where b square minus 4ac equals to 0 the roots are equal you can check over there and the second case is you can see d greater than 0 means b square minus 4ac greater than 0 then the roots will will be different means not equal and real numbers we can give one example x square minus 9x plus 20 equals to 0 it is very clear that the roots are 4 and 5 which are not equal there are many 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 examples you can check on your own that this type of equation whose discriminant is greater than 0 uh, the roots will be unequal now the very important is this in future also when you will be in class 11 12 you will get the elaborate chapter on complex number when d is less than 0 means negative when the b square minus 4 ac uh, is uh, is negative then the roots are imaginary we can give an example x squared plus x plus 1 equals to 0 this is one of the examples of the equation whose roots are imaginary now the fourth and the last is where the discriminant is perfectly square 
we can give one example of the equation is x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. It's b square minus 4ac means the discriminant is perfectly square. Uh, it's d will come 4 that is perfectly square and when the discriminant of an equation is perfectly square then the uh, roots will be unequal means they are different they are real numbers and they are rational numbers these are all about the discriminant that is the nature of the roots no, now we will go to the formation of any quadratic equation means the quadratic equation with the general form just we told you that ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero that is the general form of quadratic equation how it forms it forms if it uh, the equation has two roots alpha and beta they are the roots then the quadratic equation will be formed in that way x squared minus alpha plus beta whole into x plus alpha dot beta equals to zero this is the formation of any quadratic equation it means x squared minus sum of the roots whole into x plus product of the roots equals to zero we can go some examples uh, very uh, which comes in the frequent years in the board exam uh, we can go if one root is reciprocal one root is reciprocal to other reciprocal which is in Bengali that is called Anunnok reciprocal one root is reciprocal to the others to the other roots other roots of equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero this is one of the very important sums come in different ways and different form in different board exams uh, you can see uh, uh, when one root is reciprocal means if alpha and beta uh, then we can assume alpha is one root and another is as it is reciprocal so it is one upon alpha so two roots are alpha and one upon alpha, uh, uh, one upon alpha. then what happens it may be given as, as mcq sum that is there are uh, a uh, equals to uh, c a equals to minus c a equals to b a equals to minus b that uh, there, there are four options are there now we can see as we know the uh, that sum of the roots means alpha plus beta equals to minus b by a and product of the roots alpha dot beta equals to c by a see very easily we can uh, we can get the answer of this type of sums see we will use this alpha beta equals to c by a means product of the roots this formula we will use here as because product of the roots means alpha and one of alpha that the one root is reciprocal so the product will be alpha dot one upon alpha of of this equation it means c by a so alpha dot one by alpha equals to c by a see this is cut cut and one equals to c by a means c equals to a c equals to a this is the answer so this way we can we can solve a various kinds of problems it generally used to come in the board exam in icc cbc and different madhyamik board also now this type of one of the another sum we can go now it is told that one root is reciprocal and opposite sign so just we are changing this what is the problem problem is one root is reciprocal and 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 opposite in sign and opposite 
inside. Inside. Of the same equation. Of the same equation, ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. There are uh, this thing. Uh, this, this, these four options are even given over there. So what will be the sum? See the solution. How it is easy? One root is reciprocal and opposite in sign. It means if one root is alpha, then what will be the another root? Reciprocal means one upon alpha and opposite in sign means minus one upon alpha. This. See. See the question. One root is reciprocal and opposite in sign. So if one root is alpha, so the other root must be minus one upon alpha, as it is reciprocal and opposite in sign. So now again we will use that that rule that product of the root equals to c by a. Now here minus one. This is minus one. This is minus one. So answer is a equals to minus c. Okay, so this way we can uh, solve the problems, and problems may be may be uh, various kinds of, but all the problems are on that concept. Now we are going to another problem. Uh, uh, this is one second. I am trying to give you, give you on that equation because this is the general form. A x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. This is the equation. When when the root one root is one root is sorry one root is is twice twice the order. The other. Then again, what is the what is the condition? We have to find the condition. Uh, even if you can uh, you, you can you can be given a uh, few uh, MCQs like uh, these various uh, uh, b square equals to seven ac like this. I can give you b square equals to ac two b square equals to seven ac or two b square equals to nine ac. Uh, uh, c square equals to a b like these four options if it is given right now we have to check which options is correct here see what is given one root is twice the other so this means uh, here uh, uh, we are getting one is alpha and another is twice the other means two alpha so we have to use see both of the uh, formulas means sum of the roots as well as the product of the roots. See, sum of the roots means alpha plus two alpha. That is, we can write three alpha equals to obviously then minus b by a. And what is the other? Other is product of the roots means alpha dot two alpha means two alpha square equals to c by a. So this two we have got. Now we you see the uh, the options. All options are given in the relation a, b, and c. So we have to just equate from these two. See what happens. So uh, we can equate this thing alpha equals to uh, minus b by three a, and you can we can do alpha square. It means whole square means b square by. 9 a square and 2 alpha square equals to 2 b square by 9 a square. So this 2 b square by 9 a square should be equivalent to c by a means 2 b square by 9 a square equals to c by a. So from there I think uh, this will come 2 b square 2 b square equals to 9 a c uh, this answer will come. So see uh, this uh, uh, this uh, maybe examples I can give you uh, one one more good examples in this uh, in this sub chapter uh, I can go uh, that is sometime this is this is given key sum of the roots is there I can write one 
equation that is x square minus x equals to means this is uh, this may be given in some other form you know? here sum of the roots is zero zero then what is what is k we have to find the value of k see uh, sum of the roots is zero then what is the value of k this is very very simple sum and uh, sometimes students uh, uh, they they do not change in the ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero in that form and they they start to uh, they start the sum to pro uh, solve and they fall in problem so what happens See x square minus x equals to 2kx minus k and this should be go there x square minus of 1 plus 2k whole into x equals to or rather plus k equals to 0. See this is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 in this form. Now the sum is almost over. Sum of the roots. Sum of the roots means uh, minus b by a so sum uh, of of roots equals to minus b by a means 1 plus 2k and that is equals to 0 given given this is given this is given so here from there uh, we can write the answer that k equals to minus of this various way we can uh, solve uh, pro problems uh, problems in that way ki, uh, 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 this is MCQ problems and short questions and also broad questions can be uh, can be formed by this way now we will go one question also there I can I just remember that it comes Say very little bit, x square minus kx plus 5 equals to 0. This is the quadratic equation. If if one root one root is 5, what is 2? Or what is other root? What is other root? What is other root? Two questions come. Uh, see, this is uh, basically three marks one question. Uh, this comes in uh, basically this is uh, this is very important for ICC uh, even CVSE. So what we do? X square minus k x plus five equals to zero. It means if one root is five, means that equation this is very fundamental. That whose uh, roots should be satisfied by the equation. So x uh, we will satisfy. 5 square minus k into 5 plus 5 equals to 0. So 25 plus 5 is 30 minus 5 k equals to 0. That means we can write k equals to 6. So we find k equals to 6. Now they are telling that uh, we, you have to find uh, the other root. So we can write x square minus k value is 6. 6x plus 5 equals to 0. So this is x minus 5 into I think x minus uh, sorry this is x minus 1. So the uh, other is uh, other is 1 also. One. So the other other root is 1. So in that way we can solve this kind of problem also very easily. But we have to again I tell you that the concept must be very much clear. Now we can give uh, uh, we can show you another sum. Uh, that is, sometimes roots are given. Let the roots are given 2 plus 2 root 3, this is very interesting, and 2 minus 2 root 3. We have to find the equation. Two root, uh, the roots are given in that way. This is obviously irrational number. See, x square minus sum of the roots means this plus this obviously this is cut so it is uh, 4x plus uh, this is a plus b into a minus b square minus b square means 4 minus 12 equals to 0 this is 
x square minus 4x plus 8 sorry minus 8 equals to 0 this is the equation we, we get and in the uh, in the opposite side you can if if we if we if we proceed the sum this way or in the reverse way we can get this way also 1 upon x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 2 equals to 4 over x plus 4 this uh, uh, this may be one of the uh, uh, one of the equations so in the reverse way some solve sums this this can be come in that way you have to solve for x this sum then we will get the answer this so this in both way this type of question comes now we will very quickly will uh, switch over uh, to uh, some more sums which generally it comes in mathematics and also ICC and also CBSE board exams that is I, I can I'll show just few kinds of some very very important some you can see this comes in CBSE 2005 2009 and in mathematics many times this is very important a not equals to 0 b not equals to 0 and x not equals to 0 this this sum i i i am not going to solve the sum because you all of you know that you will bring this thing over there and you will so, uh, you can solve the problem very easily uh, i not i am not going to solve the problem and this another this kind of sum is there uh, this is very very interesting very interesting and very similar in nature but one to be remembered that here obviously a plus b not equals to zero and also a b not equals to zero solve for x we have to uh, solve for x this will this sum will be, will be very easy if we bring two pairs means b will be with this I mean this way. I will not solve the problem totally. Equals to zero, and you will get, get from there. There x equals to a plus b by a b and two by a plus b. That will be the uh, these these will be the answers. Right, so in that way, uh, we, we, we can uh, see many problems uh, which uh, frequently comes in the boards. Now, uh, I, I uh, was likely to go to the uh, word problem sums. Uh, there are very nice uh, sums. I think you can you can uh, solve the problems on your own. But one thing I I must show you. This is very uh, simple sum. See, 2x minus 3 equals to 2x square minus 2x plus 21. What to look? This is linear equation or quadratic equation? See, just I, I uh, very quickly I show you that squaring both sides, 4x square plus 9 minus 12x equals to 2x square minus 2x plus 21. Uh, so 2x square uh, minus 10x plus sorry minus 12 sorry minus 12 equals to 0 means x square minus 5x minus x equals to 0 and uh, you know this is x equals to minus 1 and 6 we are getting this but why I have done this sum this is very very interesting if we put x equals to minus 1 the equation will not be satisfied just we can put over there and then what will be the answer see if we put x equals to minus 1 so it is uh, it is minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 equals to uh, 2 plus 2 plus 21 it is coming it is coming plus 5 
so it is not being satisfied by this uh, by this uh, equation uh, sometime else i'll tell why it is uh, this type of this thing what we are getting the answer x equals to minus 1 but it is not satisfying anyway uh, anyway then the, what will be the answer answer will be only x equals to 6 i can i can give you a little more this type of sums you can you can solve and you can enjoy the sums on your own uh, it is like uh, square root of 2x plus 9 equals to 13 minus x will you will see x equals to 8 will be the answer where x will not be uh, like this sum that is 3x plus 4 equals to x uh, this is very simple and very small sum but it is uh, we are getting x equals to minus 1 and 4 but you strange you will see that x equals to minus 1 this is the culprit number means it will not solve this equation so obviously which is not being solved then x should be not equals to minus 1 for this sum and so the solution is x equals to 4 you have to write this this type of uh, good good sums are there means you have to or oh, you have to see the last of the sums whether uh, after even after we are getting the answer it may be, may not be the original answer uh, because this you have to check with the uh, equation whether it is being solved or not see i can give one more uh, this type of example which will be solved but exactly this uh, this type of see to see the similar see x into x minus 7 this is very similar and sometimes the students are become full see this is very similar to those sums to those sums its answer will be will come minus 2 and 9 these answers both of the answers will be satisfied by this equation so undoubtedly you can give the answer means solve of the answer is, is x equals to minus 2 and 9 it means you have to uh, always be careful to the last of the lines of every sums. Now, the fourth part of quadratic equation, which generally comes in again this uh, uh, Madhyamik board and CBC, uh, this one kind one uh, one sum uh, nowadays is very important for Madhyamik also. Uh, this uh, three marks. This question comes. I I will, I will give two three sums two sums. Uh, from this part that is see the hypotenuse hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is 17 centimeter hypotenuse means this this is 17 and difference of other two sides difference of other two sides is 7 cm so we have to find this side and obviously this side so this is uh, this is one application of uh, this uh, our this chapter so th this may be let this side be x this side be x minus 7 this is the difference now by pythagoras applying pythagoras you can tell that 17 square equals to x square plus x minus 7 ka whole square if we do the sum, you will, you will get the answers that x equals to 8. So, sorry, x equals to 15. So, this, this side is 15 and that side is 8 centimeters. So, this way, uh, there are various kinds of sum uh, used to come in the uh, board exam and I will lastly i will give you one uh, rather little difficult not much difficult but 
uh, students tell that this is difficult, but after solving, you will tell that this is not difficult. This is age wala sum. 40 years hence, Mr. X age will be the square of what it was 32 years ago very interesting so ago we have to find Mr. X percentage percentage this, this is the sum so see 40 years hence this uh, the question is percentage we have to find so let percentage of Mr. X is also X now we have to go through the sum very uh, sincerely that his age will be the square of what it was 32 years ago means the equation is important x plus 40 40 years hence x plus 40 should be equals to square of 32 years means 32 years ago his age was x minus 32 and square this see this is the very important line of, of this sum because this is the equation formation 40 years hence if his percentage is x 40 years hence means x plus 40 that should be equal to the square of what it was 32 years ago so x minus 32 all square equals uh, uh, square and uh, now uh, I can do this sum very easily uh, it will it will uh, it will come something x equals to 41 and 24 this these two answers will come again you have to uh, you have to show your intelligence if we put 24 that it will not be uh, uh, working so it should be x equals to 41 is the answer okay so this way uh, we can solve various problems of any chapter like quadratic equation uh, in uh, for preparation of board levels basically uh, this quadratic equation is very uh, the chapter which has the uh, weightage is there means every year one or two good questions and uh, harder questions come in madhyamik come in uh, icc come in cbsc i always welcome you in uh, in in further doubts if you have and also uh, you uh, you will go through uh, the uh, conception of all these sums i think you can do very easily you will enjoy the sums thank you very much